just in case you guys are wondering, it is mid-October and it's that time of year again when I start bitching about how cold central Indiana is. Good morning you guys and welcome back to another vlog. Honestly, it's not even morning anymore. It's 11.44, which I guess it's before noon, so it's morning. But um, I'm on my way to work and I thought I would start a new vlog. I don't know why, I don't really have anything to talk about today. Um, but I haven't vlogged for a while and yeah, I like to vlog, so that's what I'm doing. But I guess I can tell you guys how we're down to one vehicle again. Uh, Anthony's starter went out and then he replaced it and then it ended up not being the issue but his starter was going out anyhow, so he just went ahead. And is that another Ford Escape behind? Oh, well, he got over to the left, but there was a Ford Escape. But, so, yeah, so he replaced the starter, and then he, he ended up finding out that it's the fuel pump, and then last night he went to replace the fuel pump, and then found out that they gave them, they gave him the wrong fuel pump. So he's dropped like $360, in the past week on his car and it's still not running so I've been having to get up and Gavin has to be at work by 6 and then he has to be at work by 7 and then I was supposed to be at work at 2 45 today but I'm going in early because we're setting for Christmas let me tell you first of all um I've never worked a floor job ever I've always been like a front end manager or like I worked in the cash office um I must say it again, it's also been 12 years since I've had a traditional job. So it's been a really long time and I've never worked the floor so I've never had to deal with like freight or truck shipments or like resetting things for holidays. It is a mess, it is a chore. Especially because we just now uh, got in what we needed to do the reset and all of us in that apartment yesterday worked together and we got a lot done, but there is still so much freaking stuff to do. Also, I have lipstick on my teeth, so yay. And in case you're wondering, because I feel like every time I wear this lipstick, I have like 20,000 people ask me what it is. It is the Cersei Lannister lipstick from my Game of Thrones vault, which by the way, Chris, when you were trying on all my lipsticks, forgot it like screw it back down when you put on the cap and so Cersei is smushed <laughs> it's okay though it's okay because like I feel like it was kind of a bad omen for her because you know how the, the, the show ended and how Cersei's life ended I guess I never thought about that before wow Christopher wow anyway I'm almost at work but I just thought I would pop in and say hey how you doing I think it's like October 17th it could be October 18th. For all I know, we could be in November already and I just missed Halloween. You guys know me with telling time and knowing what day of the week it is. Um, yeah, pacer season has started, so that's exciting. Uh, the kickoff game, like the, the first official game, um, is I thought it was Wednesday, Scott told me today. No, I thought it was Tuesday and Scott told me it was Wednesday. But I think Jeff told me it was Tuesday. It doesn't matter, I'm off, so I'm going. I did go to the last preseason game and that was a lot of fun, but I'm gonna vlog the first day because it's just fun, it's awesome. Um, is anything else going on? The kids are on fall break, so that's happening. Which we're doing like a, we're calling it a staycation to make it sound cool, but like really we're just not going anywhere because Everybody works and we don't really have the money to travel right now and nor do we have <laughs> the vehicles to travel. But uh, yeah, we're all just staying home, just chilling, just hanging. Uh, the kids, the little ones, have been having campouts in the living room. So like we go to bed and then they just stay up all night and they love it. It's the easiest thing in the world to let them do and they have a blast. But uh, yeah. Oh, and then American Horror Story started. Love, 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 love this season. But you guys know how I am when it comes to horror movies. And I'm just so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. It's definitely giving me some Murder House vibes, some Roanoke vibes. Even though I didn't like Roanoke. But 
but uh, it's just, it's really, really good. Um, comment down below if you guys watch it and if you guys want to have a discussion about it because I just, I love theorizing, kind of like how I do with like Game of Thrones. I love like trying to find all like the Easter eggs and the hidden connections and all that jazz. I think that person works at Kohl's. I don't go in that drive. I go to the next one. But, so maybe I will see you inside. Maybe not. And believe it or not, I'm here early. Uh, not just because I'm supposed to be here at 2.45 and I'm coming in at noon, but no, like I said I would be here at noon. It's 11.50. Have you guys ever known me to be A, on time, but B, early? Like who am I becoming? I'm finally becoming the responsible adult. I probably should have become like, well, I'm 37. So I don't know, like almost 20 years ago. <laughs> There are so many people here at work already. That's okay. Maybe we'll get some stuff done. So, all right, I'm gonna go because I'm here and I don't wanna freak out my coworkers by having a conversation by myself with myself. I'll save that for another day. So I will see you guys in a bit. So there's Anthony's car. <laughs> it is not doing well. The fuel pump wasn't the issue, and we don't really know what's wrong with it. We don't know if it's going to come back to us. We don't know if it's just lived out its full life and it's needing to be retired, but I don't know. Hey there, friendship. Um, it is the next day. I just got off of work, and I'm bummed because I think I'm I think I'm sick. My body hurts so 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 freaking bad. It could be because we have done a whole bunch of stuff at work like we're resetting for Christmas and I feel like I was literally running around the store for my eight hour shift yesterday and honestly like the last two days I've worked eight hour shifts today I only worked four hours and 15 minutes but I have like that that bone ache like that deep muscle deep bone ache that you get like when you have a fever Anthony felt my head he didn't say I felt warm but I feel clammy I'm like he always tells me I feel clammy I don't even know what that means but I don't know I just hope I'm not getting sick um yeah I do work tomorrow and it's like a whole whopping four hours and 30 minutes so yay Anthony picked up some pizza while I was at work and it smells so good and I'm ready while well, he's getting us cokes just to open it and eat it and be like sorry you missed out although his is cheese and mine is obviously not so I'm not gonna be eating his pizza but yeah I think I really just turned on the camera to whine and complain about muscle aches I guess question mark I don't know I also didn't go to work until 4:45 this afternoon which feels so late and I think that's why the shift felt so long because I didn't have anything to do all day I tried to stay in bed I tried to relax and just chill out um just in case if I am getting sick but also like if it's not an illness like my body still freaking hurts so I wanted to rest my muscles and stuff but um I don't go in until 5 30 tomorrow I believe yeah I believe it's 5 30 and I am planning on resting then too and doing nothing until I have to do something which isn't until I have to go to work but yeah I feel like none of this was absolutely necessary to tell you guys but now you know we did find out that Anthony's car is going to be okay. Um, I think he said it's gonna be like $110. They ended up, what was it that's wrong with it? I don't remember. They ended up running the, the machine that tells you the different codes when something's wrong with your car. And I guess like whatever machine he was using for whatever reason was not reading the right code. So, his boss had a code reader and that one gave him a code finally and um it's gonna they ordered the part and so tomorrow he should have a car so that is a huge ton of stress uh that is taken off our plate because we don't have to worry about buying a new car or getting a loan or investing a whole bunch of money into the car that doesn't need to be invested so the total amount that's due for the car is 110 dollars, and that includes the towing when we sunk $360 into the car um, involving repairs that didn't even need to be done. So 
That's nice. That's real nice. I tried to tell him that that meant that I could spend $360 on myself on things that weren't needed, but he didn't seem to think that that was so funny <laughs> or accurate. So, all right, I am going to quit whining now and I'm going to go eat some food and watch some movies. But yeah, there's a little mini update and I will see you guys later. Hello vlog. It is finally my day off and I had every intention of staying home today and doing absolutely nothing. But I'm in my car so obviously that's not what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to TJ Maxx. I haven't really bought myself anything with my own money because I've been using my paychecks to pay down my credit cards because our plan is uh, we're going to pay off all of my credit cards that way when we, when we get to Christmas I can just buy Christmas with my credit cards and then we don't have to like dip into like our actual funds uh, during Christmas. I don't know why I'm having the hardest time like forming sentences today so I apologize. So yep I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and see what makeup they have. I have not been there in forever. It's been a really long time because all I've been doing is just going to work and then coming home with the exception of every, every now and then like Anthony and I, can speak, Anthony and I, <laughs> um, like I've gone out to dinner dates and things like that. I did just happen to accidentally commit myself to going to Detroit next Monday. Um, there's a Pacers game and a whole bunch of the, I think a whole bunch, it could be as little as four, but it's Rick, Kyle, and Scott. I don't think Rick or Kyle have been on my vlogs, but Scott has. Uh, he's been in quite a few vlogs, actually. Um, anyway, so I committed to going with them to Detroit for the Pacers-Pistons game, which I think is funny because we play Wednesday, and if I'm thinking right, Detroit plays at Banker's Life, and then we're gonna go to Detroit to watch Pacers whoop their ass there. So, yeah. That's gonna be exciting. Also, nerve wracking. Also, it's gonna hit my bank account, so yay. At least I get paid, and that'll be like a freaking awesome check. I think that check should have like 27 or 28 hours on it, so it'll be my biggest check yet. And after I pay out my bills, I should have close to like 150 or 200 that doesn't necessarily go to anything. And since Anthony's still paying all the main bills, like electricity, um, house, things like that, like my responsibility is just focusing on my credit cards, keeping gas in my truck, that kind of stuff. So everything should be. I am at TJ Maxx, so I'm gonna go inside and see if there's anything that I just can't live without, which I'll probably find something. Uh, I hope there's more Lime Crime. Last time I bought something, there was the Lime Crime highlight palette. I think I got the mermaid one. I wanted the angel one, but it was shattered. And even though it was like drastically marked down, it still just wasn't worth it. I mean, I guess I could go next door to Ulta and buy something. I did talk to my friend Tim today, and I think we're going to do a collaboration involving the Jeffree Star mystery boxes, which is really exciting because one, I've never collaborated with Tim. He's never been on YouTube before, so he's excited about that, but also I have never tried Jeffree Star cosmetics. Like I have the Morphe uh, X Jeffree Star palette, but that's it, and I really do like it. Um, I plan on doing a video on it. I plan on doing a video on like all my palettes that I buy, but I never do, so I probably won't. But he has like the Alien palette. What else does he have? My mind went blank. I know he's got like a lot of stuff. I really, 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 really want the Alien palette. I'm not interested in the Blue Blood palette because I don't really wear blue eyeshadow. I just am not a fan of blue eyeshadow for some reason. Um, but, and I really want the jawbreaker, and supposedly he's gonna be getting the mini jawbreaker, so very excited about that. But yeah, so I'm gonna go inside TJ Maxx and see what kind of goodies I can find. Well, that was a bummer. Um, they just didn't really have anything that was like super amazingly, I need this in my life type awesome. They did have like 
They had a Kevin Aquan foundation, which I don't even think you can see it on my hand. It looks so seamless and smooth, but it's not full coverage. I already have so many foundations and I don't know. The fact that it was leaking on the side of the bottle so that I could swatch it just really doesn't make me want to get it. There was also like an, a, there was a Kevin Aquan liquid molten lip that was pink crystal. It was really shimmery, really glittery, really pretty, but it looked like it separated and I'm always so iffy when things do that because I'm like, is it expired? Um, has it just been setting? Granted, there's only six bucks. I love Kevin Aquan's lips so much. I have a couple, um, I just love Kevin Aquan, period. I really want one of his, want one of his like highlighting bars. And I was there once and TJ Maxx had it and I didn't buy it and I should have bought it. Um, that's okay. That's all right. So I think what I'm gonna do now, uh, I think I'm gonna go to Target. I know I just went yesterday, but I went looking specifically for like clothes and ended up buying a lot of stuff I didn't need for my dogs. But I really need to get a new book. What you doing, truck? Where you going? Um, so I might go to Target and I might look for a book. I'm really in the mood for like a really good mystery book. So I might do that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm at Target, so I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna see what I get. Uh, if I get anything. Cause, like I said, I'm in the mood to like go to the store and find stuff, but not actually make a purchase. So, yeah. Alright, I am very satisfied with my purchases from Target. I ended up getting two books. And I love reading. I don't think that's something that I've really ever talked about on my channel. I'm honestly thinking about doing a video where I go over like my favorite books um, or even favorite authors. So let me know if this is something that would interest you because I guess I don't talk about reading. But so I ended up getting two books. I got this. This is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This is kind of going to be an interesting book because there's literally nothing on the back that gives any kind of description. It's just kind of other writers or journals opinions about the book but so I have no idea what this book is actually about but supposedly it is comparable to like the Gone Girl book which I, I own and I've read I think at least twice and I really like so yeah I'm gonna give this a try I actually like that I'm not gonna know what the book is about but then the other book I got this is The Couple Next Door by Where's her name? Sherry Lapina. I own two other books that she's written. Um, I think she's only written the three books that have gone, uh, been published like this. Uh, so this will be the third book. And I really, really like the other two books that I've read. She's a really good suspense writer. Obviously both of these are suspense. That's my favorite kind, like the mystery, murder mystery. Um, I mean, I, I like documentary and I also like, like the, the self care type stuff. Uh, not documentary, uh, biographical, bi <laughs> biological, why can't I speak? You guys know what I'm saying. Um, autobiographies and biographies. So, I don't know. I don't do the romance. Every now and then I'll do, I really do like the Game of Thrones books. But, yeah. So that's what I ended up buying at Target. I'm really excited though. I'm now at Starbucks. I'm going to get a hot tea. I'm going to go home. I'm going to snuggle up with my chihuahua and a blanket, my hot tea, and a book. And I think that's just how I'm going to spend my night. Which I'm really excited because I either never read or I do nothing but read. I'm either all or none. Um, and this rainy, cold, nasty weather is perfect for reading. I also have a bowl of chili that I'm going to go home and eat as well. All right, cool. So I'm going to get a citrus mint tea. I don't get teas often from Starbucks. Um, my face looks really weird and orange. And also, I don't know why I don't look, I don't know. I look like I have a skin smoothing app on, but I don't. Um, anyway, so, but that's all that I'm going to put in this vlog, you guys. Uh, comment down below what your guys' favorite book is. I'm curious and give me some recommendations. Like I said, I don't like, I don't like like romance novels. 
nothing sappy. I do like time period stuff, um, particularly around like World War II and things like that. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Just, I would turn on your post notifications because I don't post with any sense of regularity and there's really no way of telling when I do or do not upload. So yeah, subscribe, like, comment, all that wonderful goodness and I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching and have a great, fantastic, amazing day. Bye!